Benko is primarily to create a whole little boxes and you can move things around. Think of Benko base as the entire composition as a Benko block. So we've got a few different sizes down here and that is plugged into our resolution here. So we can just double click and jump between these different sizes. And the cool thing about this is that we can still use these constraints. So we can just pin those and then are pinned in place. And same with these as well. We can just click on the create bounding box constraint and they're going to stick around just as we need them. So this is pretty handy for a number of reasons and uh, um, yeah I'd be happy to I'd love to see how some people would uh, use this on their day-to-day. -day. So I've just created our image down here and I'm going to pop a picture on. I'm just going to jump into the image shader to adjust that. And I'm going to put a scale on it. And I'm going to open that up and I just know that max is going to be the option. So now we can just jump through and it's going to scale that and resize it. It's going to put these three dots proportionally around the layer and it's going to fix the Benko base and this ring into the corner. My main thinking is that you'd primarily create your motion in the 1080 by 1080 square but it doesn't matter if it goes off into different parts of it and I'm not saying everything would be linked inside this Benko box but just certain elements.